Tesla Giga Texas is ramping up production friends. So how many Model Ys can it produce? Recent videos and reports suggest Tesla is in high gear at Giga Texas amid a production ramp and supply chain concerns. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. It seems there will never be a shortage of Tesla factory drone flyovers and spy shots of the US electric automobile makers parking lots and staging areas because a lot of people are interested how things are going at the newly built Giga Berlin how things are going at Giga Texas while there's these types of reports don't typically offer concrete data or details they give us a solid idea of how things are going at Tesla's factories which is helpful since the company doesn't disclose much and there is no PR department to contact with questions wouldn't it be nice if Tesla had the PR department I think so. Now, according to a recent article published by Tesla Radi, it seems Tesla is still in the midst of its deliberate production ramp at its newest Gigafactory, Texas. This is to be expected since the factory just officially opened not long ago. However, questions remain about how quickly Tesla will be able to not only ramp up Model Y production, but also vehicle deliveries as the quarter pushes forward. CEO Elon Musk had this to say about the production ramp via Tesla Radi. Look, he says, now with the new factories, the initial ramp always looks small, but it grows exponentially. So I have very high confidence in the terms of both factories, and we expect to ramp those initially slowly, but like I said, growing exponentially with them achieving high volume by the end of this year. End of the quote. Now, the Tesla Giga Berlin is also going ramping slowly but exponentially. No matter which drone flyover videos you watch, it's quite clear that the Tesla Giga Texas is in high gear now. In fact, this has been the case for many months, even long before Tesla hosted the official grand opening and delivery party at the factory. Keep in mind that the company plans to produce 1.5 million vehicles in 2022, which would be an epic feat considering it made about 930,000 vehicles in 2021 and just shy of 500,000 in 2020. As Tesla Radi points out, recent video footage and images of Tesla's vehicle holding lots and staging areas give us some idea of the number of Model Y crossovers, crossovers coming off the line and being ready for delivery at Giga Texas. It also paints a picture of what Tesla may have in store for staging and delivery logistics going forward. The Texas factory is massive compared to Tesla's other production facilities and also highly advanced. It's hyper-focused on only the Model Y for now, though the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck and Semi will, pro be, uh, will be actually produced in Texas in the future, friends. Now, Tesla plans to crank out a massive number of vehicles from the Gigafactory in Austin, though we currently have no idea how the ramp itself, as well as the current supply chain situation, will impact output and deliveries from Giga uh, Texas as time goes on. Nonetheless, as shown in the drone flyover above, employees um, employee lots are nearly full and Model Y crossovers are collecting in the staging lots. Tesla Radio also directs uh, our attention to loading areas for car carriers, of which there appears to be 18 spots at this point. Multiple reports have also claimed that car carriers full of Model Ys have already been leaving the factory potentially on their way to customers. So how many Model Y crossovers do you think Tesla will produce at Giga Texas in the second quarter of 2022. I would like to hear from you. Please leave us your um, educated guesses in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com and let's move on to our next Tesla story. Tesla CEO Elon Musk wants to sell insurance with Tesla, but Warren Buffett advises against it. Musk announces Tesla's entry into the auto insurance industry against Warren Buffett's advice. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. Elon Musk announced last week that Tesla will soon enter the auto insurance industry. Warren Buffett, whose Berkshire Hathaway Group also owns insurance company Geico, previously expressed serious doubts 
about Tesla and other automakers' ability to gain a foothold in the industry and turn a profit. Some automakers have expressed their interest to themselves enter the automotive insurance industry. And this is where Warren Buffett's advice uh, against it comes into the foray. Recently, Tesla began providing automotive insurance to customers in Oregon, Colorado, and Virginia. The electric car maker plans to offer insurance to 80% of its US customers by the end of this year, the company said in its first quarter results. Of course, if you are such an important brand, you are well known with your customers, you have a huge following on customers, why not own your brand product? And you probably can do it a little bit cheaper because you know better your customers and who are at more risk or who are not more risk. Now, Tesla wants to use driver data. That's why I said you have more information about your customer. Elon Musk explains that understanding how their driving habits affect potential insurance costs can lead to safer driving and lower premiums. Lower premiums because Tesla wants to use the data that it has about its drivers. Tesla can also use vehicle data to fix damage quickly and organize same-day repairs. This ensures a better customer experience than traditional auto insurance, he said. Tesla can also analyze accident data to find out how accidents are caused and then reduce the risk of repeat damage by optimizing vehicle design or software, Elon Musk said. Buffett downplayed Geico's threat from Tesla's insurance ambitions during the 2019 Berkshire annual meeting. An automaker can fail in the insurance business just as an insurance company can fail in the manufacture of cars, Buffett said. He added that he is much more worried about other competitors than Tesla. It's not an easy deal at all, Buffett said. I wouldn't bet that any company in the automotive industry will be exceptionally successful in any way, he said. He also said, I don't think they're going to make money in the insurance business, he said, referring to automakers. He acknowledged that vehicle data is valuable, but doubted that telematics will give automakers an advantage over incumbent insurance companies as it is already widespread. Now, expert is skeptical about Elon Musk's plan. Christopher Blumstrand, president of Semper Augustus Investments and a close supporter of Buffett and Berkshire, explains on Twitter why he is skeptical about Tesla's insurance business. The fund manager doubts that Tesla has the excess capital necessary to take out insurance on a significant scale. He added that running and growing an insurance business and repairing damage costs a lot of money and Tesla cars will be more expensive to repair than conventional cars because of their complexity. And before I end this report, please tell me if you are a Tesla owner, would you rather buy Tesla insurance if the price was right? If you're not a Tesla owner and if the price was right, would you switch from your current insurance to Tesla? Bloomstein also noted that the auto insurance industry is highly competitive, that individual market participants have tight margins and that regulators will lower prices for Tesla once the company starts making strong profits. Let me know, friends, your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. And let's move on to our next story.